Okay, Xamarin. It's a framework by Microsoft. It works with the basically the .NET framework. And uh, if you already have a lot of C sharp skill, this might be the one for you or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. What I do, it, it does use XAML, which you know compared to Flutter, where you pretty much code everything out. Uh, you're pretty much putting everything up in, in XML uh, or, you know, XAML, XML, and you can, it's more, if you came from a, a development, a web development background, it's, it, it's not going to be, it's going to be more familiar to you. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. I mean, you can get it up and running and, you know, all you got to do is download Visual Studios and have, um, you know, add the package for Xamarin in, in there when you're, down, or when you're downloading. Maybe I'll make a video on that as well. And um, yeah, you're, you're pretty much good to go. I mean, it's not a whole lot of setup, but not a whole lot of, um, not a whole lot to it or whatever, right? Also, um, I'll put this in the link below, but there is, um, there's, a, there's a free Xamarin, it's a thousand page book. So, you know, you, you get it for free. It's released by Microsoft. And you'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to read through that. You know, you don't have to really, you can pretty much get started up for free, you know, because um, it's got everything in there you need to know or whatever, right? A lot of, another thing I like about Xamarin is it, there's not, I mean, between Flutter, I'll talk about Flutter in the next one, but there's not a lot of boilerplate code in there, right? Um, you pretty much have the, the code behind file. Everything's pretty much straightforward. When you see more of my tutorials, you'll, you'll understand what I'm, I'm saying. Maybe I'll do a, a code tutorial doing, you know, back, you know, a uh, side by side comparison of uh, Xamarin and, uh, and Flutter or whatever. OK, and it's, it's actually it's been around longer. It's also been around longer than Flutter has been. Flutter is a pretty young framework. I've been following it before 1.0 came out. You know, it's going to have some it's, it's going to have some bugs in it and there's going to have some it, um, you know, there's things that need to be worked on. Uh, I think Xamarin is a, right now is a little bit more polished, but you know, cause like, like I said, if you come, if you're coming from a web development background, Xamarin is definitely going to be an easier, uh, an easier framework. Cause it's, it's, it's basically like working with, you know, you're working with C sharp, but you know, with the code behind files, um, it does make it easier to manage, but you know, with Flutter, it kind of everything's kind of jumbled in there to get you know together. Also, um, you know, there's actually great. I mean, being that it's been out longer than Flutter, there's a great community behind it. You know, you can pretty much figure out just about anything. You know, by googling it. I mean, it's been around for a while, so um, you, you'll you'll definitely you know you'll definitely support. There's a lot of videos out there. Like I said, Microsoft releases a thousand page book. If you want to, I, I'm actually, I actually do Udemy courses where I don't, I, I took some Udemy courses on uh, Xamarin and, uh, you know, it, it gets you, it, you know, it, because it's such a mature framework, you know, it'll get you, it, it'll get you up and running and, you know, you won't have a lot of issues with it. All right. Um, Another thing, okay, one, one of the differences or one of the, the selling points of, uh, of Flutter is um, has hot reload. Basically, without, you know, basically when you save your code in Flutter, it, you know, the emulator or your device will basically hot reload or reload, you know, rebuild itself and it'll show it on a device. Uh, there, you know, with the 2019 version of uh, Visual Studios, they do they do have that built in there. Uh, I'm going to talk about that. Well, I'll talk about it now. I had a lot of trouble with uh, Visual Studios 2019. Now, I am using the, the community edition. Uh, basically, one of the problems I had was I couldn't get images to load. And when I started looking through the forums, I seen that this was a common problem. So in order to get working with Xamarin, I had to go back to, um, you know, download the community edition of 2017 Visual Studio. So you might want to keep that in mind. I mean, I'm sure they're working on that problem, but that that is an issue, you know. Um, also with Xamarin, I mean, JetBrains and Microsoft, they, they make the best editors, right, or the best code editors. And this is no different with Xamarin. Xamarin has great code completion. Um, pretty much can't go wrong with it. It's like, um, you know, 
I mean, just I know a lot of you probably use Visual Studio's code, um, but man, l like anything you need to get done in there, you know, there's going to be code completion. So that makes it makes it easier. Uh, let's talk about my perfect personal preferences. Um, mm -hmm. I do like the fact that XAML uses I mean, that Xamarin uses XML, meaning you know, everything is marked up in XML. Uh, kind of like a web page structure, you know, kind of like HTML is kind of like a, a, um, a XML kind of markup. Uh, so it is a little bit more familiar to me. I do come from a little bit. Of, I do come from a, a web development background. So, and when you when you do the code behind, it's pretty much straightforward. You know, it's kind of like when you use uh, the on click or um, add event listener with with HTML or whatever. It's kind of the, it's kind of the same deal, or the older you know with the older HTML where you put on click on the same line, um, <clears throat> it's kind of the same deal and it works good. And then it has also binding. Um, <clears throat> this is something you're gonna have to you know check into when when you start messing with Xamarin. Um, basically, you're able to bind variables directly you know from the code behind into the XML, which is, I, I like how they do that a lot better than they do Flutter. Um, and there's not also not a lot of boilerplate code up there. Um, with Flutter, you might, uh, they, they try to promote this, um, oh, the block pattern, the block pattern. It has so much boilerplate code for that block pattern. I really don't like it. I, I kind of go with scope model, uh, scope, scope model. Um, and yeah, one other thing, the, the um, integration with the code behind files makes it so much easier. And like I said, there's great support for this. So um, that's my view of Xamarin. I'll probably make another video on like, you know, separately on cons and, you know, or why I like them or whatever, but we'll, we'll go with that. So we'll move on to Flutter.